Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. In some applications, people don't want to reconstruct the full surfaces here, but they, it's enough for them just to take the sketches, extract some lines, outlines, and put them in their favorite package and finish the, the work there. And I'll go through this process and show you how Quick Surface can help you with this. Using the standard methods, we can just create a um, 2D sketch. I'll just get this example here. And then I press OK. And by default, this option will be enabled, which means that when we actually create um, our sketch, when I press OK, the surface, the extruded surface, will automatically be created. So anytime, even if I delete this extruded surface, even if I edit my sketch and, for example, I modify it slightly, create this and press OK, we always get this surface. So if you are working in a way that you only want to extract sketches, just when you create any new sketch, just turn this option off and this will not create any more uh, surfaces in Quick Surface. So, for example, here I can select this, this fit uh, an arc, and then I can convert it to a circle. Then let's just uh, close my profile. I will just quickly just draw a line here and press OK. Now, as you see, this is only my uh, sketch here. Another thing which I probably may want to do is just to extract the inner profile. Let me just take uh, some more information here. And then I can just go into this sketch and I will create a revolved surface. In this case, the orientation is probably this one. It's not properly aligned, but for the purposes of demonstration, this is enough. I get this profile and I press OK. So now I have my profile here. Well, we will just shift to create a couple of lines here. And this is my uh, sketch. And I press OK. So now I have my two sketches, which are probably now for me, and I want to put them into the other software. The way we can do this is by using the export functionality. I press export. We don't support uh, sketches into the step file format, so the only file format which you can use is uh, the IGES. So make sure you always select the IGES file format. And then I name this as curves. Press OK and they are saved on the disk. Let's go to Rhino for example. I will just press open and I open my IGES curves here. As you see they are set in space where it's um, curves and also this is a polycurve. Although it says one curve we need to explode probably and then we can get all the elements of my profile here and this is what I can uh, do here I press uh, undo I can probably extrude this surface and and then create my surfacing in this uh, software let's take a look a, a little bit about uh, SolidWorks I will just open a uh, quick surface next to SOLIDWORKS. Uh, if I go and try to edit the sketch, there is an option here which is called QS Connect. So again, like uh, in the QS Connect for SOLIDWORKS, when we transfer a solid model, there is an option how you want to map the space, because SOLIDWORKS uses a different approach of what is the top front and bottom orientation of the object so you can set this and while you are in this sketch you just press transfer the software connects to SOLIDWORKS and recreates your sketch directly in SOLIDWORKS I can just close this and then I can edit the other sketch and then I can press transfer if we take a look at the second sketch you may notice that we automatically create a center line which is uh, for the um, revolve surface so you may need to use this if you want to and of course this is a standard sketch where you can right click and edit the sketch I press uh, set it aligned and then I can add dimensions here or I can move and improve my sketch the way I want and um, create my modeling in SOLIDWORKS thank you for watching